Hi, this is Sameer Zafikar and you're watching Social Sciences. Feminist philosophy is philosophy that is aimed at understanding and challenging the oppression of women. Feminist philosophy examines issues that are traditionally found in practical ethics and political philosophy, metaphysics, epistemology, and philosophy of language. In fact, feminist concerns uh, can appear in almost all areas of traditional philosophy. Feminist philosophy is thus not a kind of philosophy, rather it is unified rather it is unified by its focus on issues of concern. to feminist feminist philosopher question the structures and institutions that regulate our lives uh, when mary wollstonecraft was writing in 1792 the institutions excluded and subordinated women explicitly wollstonecraft as the title of her book a uh, vindication of the rights of the women makes clear uh, was extending the enlightenment idea that men have basic human rights to women Wollstonecraft argued that women should not be seen as importantly different from men. Uh, there may be differences due to different upbringing, but Wollstonecraft argues that there is no reason to think men and women uh, differ in important ways, and women should be given the same education and opportunities as men. What seemed radical in seventeen ninety two may not seem radical now. yet gender inequality persist thus philosophers must look beyond the formal rules and laws to the underlying structures that cause and perpetuate oppression the feminist philosopher is always asking is there some element of this practice that depends on gender in some way feminist philosophers examine and critique the way we structure our families and reproduction the culture practices we engage in uh, such as prostitution and pornography the way we think and speak and value each other as knowers and thinkers in order to examine these issues the feminist philosopher may need an improved conceptual toolbox we need to understand such complex concepts as intersectionality of uh, false consciousness and of course gender itself the question arises that is gender biologically determined is it something natural and immutable or is it socially constructed simon de beauvoir puts it uh, one is not born but rather becomes a woman feminist philosophers tend to argue that gender is all socially constructed that is uh, that it is something we invent rather than discover gender is nonetheless an important part of our world and feminist philosophy aims to understand how it works we are going to discuss the work of simon in detail but let's start with her introduction the existentialist philosopher simon de beauvoir was born in paris in 1908 existentialist philosophers are the ones uh, who are engaged in philosophical inquiry Uh, to explore the problems of human existence by emphasizing on the experience of thinking, feeling, and acting. French philosopher Simone de Beauvoir writes in her book *The Second Sex* that throughout history, the standard measure of humanity, both in philosophy and in society at large, has been a peculiarly male view. Some philosophers, such as Aristotle, have been explicit in equating full humanity with maleness. others have not said as much but have nevertheless taken maleness as a standard against which humanity is to be judged it is for this reason that uh, bevor says that the self or i of philosophical knowledge is by default male and his binary pair uh, the female is there for something else which she calls uh, the other the self is active and knowing uh, whereas the other is all that self rejectors um it is all about passivity voicelessness and powerlessness so we can say that being a female you have to act passive you are voiceless and you are the powerless one before is also concerned with the way that women are judged to be equal only in so far as they are like men even those who have written on behalf of the equality of women she says have done 
so by arguing that equality means that women can be and do the same as men she claims that this idea is mistaken because it ignores the fact that women and men are different Bevor's uh, philosophical background was in phenomenology that is the study of how things appear to our experience this view mentions that each of us constructs the world from within the frame of our own consciousness and we constitute things and meanings from the stream of our experiences consequently bevor mentions that the relationship that we have uh, to our own bodies to others and the world as well as to our philosophy itself is strongly influenced by whether uh, we are male or female Bevor also believed that we are born without purpose and must carve out an authentic existence of for ourselves choosing what to become in applying this idea to the notion of woman uh, she asks us to separate the biological entity and the bodily forms which females are born into from femininity which is a social construct since any construct is open to change and interpretation this means that there are many ways of being a woman there is room for existential choice in the introduction to the second sex uh, bevor notes society's awareness of this fluidity uh, we are exhorted to be a woman or uh, remain woman become woman it would appear then that every female human being is not necessarily a woman uh, she she later states at the position explicitly by saying that one is not born but becomes a woman before being a strong advocate of feminism says that women must free themselves both from the idea that they must be like men and from the passivity that society has induced in them living a truly authentic existence carries more risk than accepting a role handed down by society but it is the only path to equality and freedom so this is all about the philosophy of bevor If you have any question leave in the comment section below thanks for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel